Lieutenant Willie Salisbury received the shock of his life three years ago when he found out he had prostate cancer. He was left with only one thing on his mind. Surviving. Um, when I say survival, it's survival because of my children. Um, I, I, I don't want them to grow up without their dad. Um, it wasn't so much of me in fear of my own life, it was in fear of them growing up without me. Salisbury says no one in his family has a history of cancer, so he wondered how it could happen to him. The lifestyle that I live is pretty healthy. Um, I'm not a risk taker and everything like that. Then he looked at his job. At the time he was diagnosed, he had already been a firefighter for over 20 years. That's where we kind of had the decision of where the possibility came from. And that's when Salisbury took action. I looked at my highest survival chances and, and that was actually having the prostate removed. So um, I didn't want to come back later on and find out that the chemo or radiation didn't work and the cancer has progressed from, from where it previously was. It's stories like his that have firefighters pushing for presumptive cancer laws. What the presumption laws do is it uh, basically allows the firefighter to assume that the cancer was caused on the job and it gives them the benefit of workers' compensation should it be proved to, to be uh, caused while firefighting. Over 30 states have firefighter cancer presumptive laws, but Florida isn't one of them. Instead, the Sunshine State only covers presumptive laws for heart and lung disease. Some fire stations say having cancer laws in place will cost the taxpayers too much money. And other stations simply say they don't have a cancer problem. But Gainesville Fire Rescue says that's just not true. The reason why they're saying that there's no issue with them is because they haven't done enough research. Um, what we are, Gainesville is very progressive. Um, we go and we look and we research. And experts from the University of Florida say research and studies have shown links between firefighting and an increased risk for cancer. There was an analysis of all the published studies so far, a meta-analysis that was published a few years back. Uh, that was specifically talking about the cancer that seems to show increased risk in firefighters. For example, multiple myeloma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, there were some concerns about testicular cancer and maybe also prostate and brain cancers. Cancers that may be caused by chemicals or carcinogens that are absorbed into the body. It's a mixture of, of different dangerous compounds and it keeps staying on their skin. Not all of them take shower right away. They are tired, they are sweating, so it's opening up pores and uh, it's getting into the blood much easier. That's why firefighters like Lieutenant Salisbury are hoping that Florida legislators pass the resumption laws this year. We're doing everything possible for us not to obtain these cancers, uh, but you still need people to do what we do. We're firefighters, we're, we're part of EMS, and we're exposed to these things. Because firefighters are not only fighting fires every day, they're battling cancer. If you see a fire truck going by with three firefighters on there, one of them probably is either going to have cancer or has uh, will be dealing with cancer shortly. Reporting in Gainesville, Alicia Tarancon, GTN News.